Hi, I'm Ed Bauscher from lovemoney.com and welcome to Make Your Money Go Further. And in today's show, I'm going to talk about debt. Insolvency figures for 2009 came out last week and they make very sorry reading. 134,000 people became formally insolvent last year. Sadly, this is a record number and I fear the 2010 numbers will be just as bad, perhaps even worse. So if you're facing a debt disaster and you fear you may have to go bankrupt, what are your options? Well, firstly, I want to stress that bankruptcy can be a good solution for some people. Yes, there are big downsides to bankruptcy, but the big plus is that a large chunk of your debt will be written off. Then, eventually, you can start afresh with no debt burden on your shoulders. And now there's also a cheaper alternative to bankruptcy called a debt relief order, or DRO. It's only available to people with relatively small debts, but the cost savings are significant. Another option is an IVA, or Individual Voluntary Arrangement. IVAs also enable you to write off some of your debt, and they don't carry quite the same stigma as bankruptcy. That's particularly useful if bankruptcy would prevent you from carrying on in your profession. On the downside, the charges can be high and there have been many reports of mis-selling. Now these aren't the only solutions and I haven't got time to go through them all. The best thing to do is to get some quality advice before you do anything. Funnily enough, when it comes to debt, the best advice tends to be free. So avoid debt advisors who want to charge you for their services. Instead, you can get great advice from charities such as the Consumer Credit Counselling Service or National Debt Line or Citizens Advice. These guys are definitely the best way to go. You can also get more information and advice on debt on our new Dealing With Debt blog. Check it out at lovemoney.com blog.